So guys, today we'll talk about diphtheria and we have Dr. Yogesh. Dr. Yogesh, please tell us what is diphtheria, its symptoms and treatment. So that is basically a, a kind of a overview about diphtheria. Now let's say what diphtheria is exactly, you know, if, you, if somebody wants to know what exactly diphtheria is. So basically it's a, um, uh, we can say it's a bacterial infection. You know, we divide bacteria into different types of bacteria. Like, you know, some are called as gram-positive bacteria, some are called as gram-negative bacteria, some are called as anaerobes, which thrive well when the oxygen requirement is, uh, concentration is less. So all those things actually are basically microbiological purpose, you know, when we define. So if I had to say, it's a, it's a gram-positive bacteria. And this bacteria is called as foreign bacterium diphtheria. Basically, this is a name of this bacteria which causes this illness, which we call it as diphtheria. Now, it's a it's a it's a disease of our uh, respiratory system. It's a disease which can involve the skin. It's a disease which can involve the brain and heart also. But predominantly, it's a disease of the respiratory system. Doctor, what are the symptoms of diphtheria? How does it spread? Now, what happens is. Why we call it as a serious disease? Because it may start as a high-grade fever, cold cough, coryza, you know, which is a normal, what you see, cold cough. But problem is this bacteria, it will release a, a toxin, which is called as exotoxin, you know. And that is, the pro- that is the toxin which actually causes the problem. So when it goes to our system, it will start cause affecting our nerves sometimes. It can start affecting our brain and we, it can cause paralysis. It can cause heart involvement where heart becomes weaker. So these are the deadly combina- uh, deadly complications, you know, when we talk about this diphtheria exotoxin. But if we talk, you know, how cases are picked up, how do we know it's a diphtheria, you know, when we look at the child. So basically, if somebody walks into our OPD and, you know, looking very toxic, looking like high grade fever, and, you know, we call it as a bull neck, uh, there will be huge swellings on both the sides. and and then uh, he's coughing he or she's coughing badly and when we examine him or her we see a, a white pack a membrane a solid membrane inside the mouth so a membrane inside the mouth okay and that causes obstruction for the breathing because it's blocking the airway and that is the time you know usually they start getting into the trouble of breathing difficulty not able to breathe having low oxygen and then they collapse so it can be life-threatening if not treated at that time. Doctor, what is the treatment for diphtheria? Treatment is very simple. One thing is definitely, you know, we have antibiotics. So as soon as we confirm or when we see, we don't have to wait for the confirmation also to start antibiotic. It's more of a clinical, of course, and confirmation is by doing the, we take a swab from there and see the bacteria live on microscope, under microscope. And when you confirm this is a foreign bacterium diphtheria, you don't wait for the culture to come because culture takes longer time. You know, patient may, 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 may not make it if you wait for the reports to come and then start treating. So you have a suspicion, you do a slight examination, you found that there is a bacteria, start treatment the antibiotic and if there are complications, we use something called as diphtheria antitoxin. Okay, so that is the basically as a tox, is a, is a is kind of uh, uh, is the medicine which basically help to cut down on the toxins which are released by the, the this bacteria. Doctor, what are the precautions that we can take to avoid diphtheria? And prevention, if you don't want to see these kind of things happening to anyone, the only answer is vaccine. We have to ensure, we, as I mentioned in the beginning, we have a robust vaccination system. It's I think it's one of the world's biggest and, and we have a best example of polio being eradicated which you know which is a big achievement for us and the government uh, schedule and the programs which they run so similarly we need to ensure that nobody none of the children who are under five are missed to take this vaccine diphtheria vaccine because it's available all throughout all anganwadis all primary health centers it's just that we need to have that mindset we need to educate them we need to tell them the importance of this so that we can prevent this Thank you.